thought. What's going on, mijo? ¿Qué está haciendo? I'm trying to get my kayak ready. What's going on, man? Nice seeing you, man. Nice to you. Uh, wow, it's windy, too. I know. You think they're going to... Can we stay right here? Or... I don't know. Not? I mean... We kind of just need to pull our trucks yeah, up. Spread over there. Yeah, because just in case. Hell, guys, here we are. Old Lake. Well, it's Ballinger Lake, the old one. This one drains into the new one. But we're here on this lake because uh, nobody ever comes here. But it is hot today, and the wind is blowing like 15 right out of the south. So I'm going to try to go over here to the south bank and get a little bit of a wind break. It's 100 degrees out here, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. I don't know why we're out here. I just love to fish, but it's uh, kind of windy. Well, we're not. Got a couple of bites on plastics over here in these trees, but this uh, not really a lot to this lake. It's really flat and sandy in the bottom. There's not really any rocks or trees or anything. There's like some salt cedar sticks. That's about it. So, we'll get back with you the other day. Well, something happens, I guess. Get it, comida! Yeah! You ready? You go first. What's up, man? Today we are going to Lake Ivy. Uh, Renee and I uh, got the kayaks and we're uh, gonna go over there. What is today? June 26th. Uh, man, I got here yesterday. I got here kind of late because I got off work at seven o'clock yesterday morning and it was hot. It was like 100 degrees. I got to get here till like noon. So we went to uh, Lake Ballinger just to mess around and uh, it was so hot I stayed on the lake for maybe three hours and that was it and I got my legs got so sunburned I'm hurting today so I'm wearing pants today um, so we should be on the water by now but uh, we'll get back with y'all when we get to the lake and we'll see what we can do out been a while lots of boats here Gotta take off and start fishing. Here we are on Lake Ivy. Water's pretty clear, crystal clear, really nice. We're at we just put in at Kennedy Park and uh, get on the on the uh, east side of the river since it's uh, not as open as the other part, so we can fish these points and get in and out and out of these coves. A little bit easier than it would be if we put in at Concho. So uh, let's pull up to this first point and see if we can nab a fish. Oh, by the way, I didn't uh, put it my lip depth finder in, so I don't know how deep it's going to be, but I'm just going to wing it. Oh, it got loose. Oh, it got loose. He's a little guy. Thank you, sir. I just broke off a pretty good fish, I think. <laughs> Woohoo! Nice bass. Go girl. Well, 
that's it for today at Lake Ivy. Caught one good fish, and that was it. Well, I caught another good fish, but I couldn't get it. I didn't get it on video and got out of the boat before I even got any pictures or anything. So, uh, that's it for Lake Ivy. I didn't really come over here just to specifically fish the whole time. Um, we hit a lake yesterday, we hit Ivy today for about, we've been out here for about five hours, I guess. And then tomorrow, um, um, this evening we're gonna go to Angelo. We're gonna visit with some friends and have some barbecue. And, uh, and then tomorrow we're going to Twin Buttes. So Sunday morning, um, we're gonna fish Twin Buttes. So uh, we'll get back with you when we get on that lake. All right, ow. What's up people? Here we are back again on day three, going to another lake, going to uh, Twin Buttes in San Angelo, Texas. And uh, we're about to get rained on. So, don't know how uh, this is gonna pan out, but as long as there's no lightning, I don't mind fishing in the rain. But uh, it doesn't ever rain over here until you want to go and do something outside and then it starts to rain. But we're going to give it a best shot anyway. It should be cooler at least. So uh, we'll get back with you when we, uh, when we get out there. He said he just got off the loop. Okay. How about hang up with me and you call him and tell him where to go? Okay. All right. Bye. Oh, we're going to get rained on. I mean, because this is smooth over here too, but is yeah. this too shallow uh, or? I don't remember how deep that is right through there. It looks uh, like it's I a foot the channel, deep. The channel is over there. Yeah, it's over there by the. Oh, a bunch of little whites. Another white bass. Bye, buddy. Go, oh, got a fish. Got another one, Brian. Pretty good size one. Hey. Hey, it's a keeper size. What? Yeah. Oh, got another one right here, <laughs> right at the boat.
All right, hold on. Later, buddy. I got another one, Brian. <laughs> Man, there's some nice ones too. They're like about all 12 inches. Oh, it's a gar. Yep. Yeah, I'm trying. Chartreuse. He was hooked in there. <laughs> you know what? They're on this side of that point that comes out. Sorry guys, I've caught three bass and the camera died, so I didn't have any footage of that. Three black bass. This is a white bass. White bass love that chartreuse color. That's what I told Renee. You're probably going to go out and drift it because you don't have that way. You can't. I don't have to control your paddle. That's it. Bye bye, Twin Buttes. Uh, I ended up catching some fish today. Not nothing great or anything, but I caught uh, about a two and a half pound black bass, and then several smaller, maybe pound and a half, and then two little eighteen or uh, eight inch ones. And then caught like six white bass. So, I mean, I caught some fish. I wasn't like I got skunked today. So that was pretty good. Um, it's always good when you catch something. Um, anyway, it was just, uh, wasn't like a hardcore fishing trip or anything. I only brought maybe a handful of baits and two or three other hard, hard lures. I mean, I really didn't have a whole lot of tackle with me or anything, so, but. It's always fun to just get out in the water and experience new things. Oh yeah, I caught a gar too. Forgot about that. Um, anyway, we'll uh, get back with you on the next trip wherever we go and see what happens. Um, don't forget to like, subscribe, and appreciate all your support.